Let's talk about getting a little bit more security in your site because the default in WordPress is when it's live, it's mysite.com slash wp-admin. Every WordPress site has that built in wp-admin. So for security, I'm going to mention two things to make this more secure. One is um, moving the, the WordPress uh, login the screen, and the other one is talking about redirects. So in our notes here, we'll add for more security, moving your wp-admin login screen. And I'll just note it. One is move the folder, dot, 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 and the other is add uh, redirections, dot, dot, dot. OK, so the first one, we can read about it um, right over here when we go over to our settings. Um, general right here we've got imagine this is victorsbakery.com what's the URL of the site so it's going to be victorsbakery.com where do you access your site at victorsbakery.com and it's going to automatically put wp-admin so my idea here is that what I want to do is, so don't change any of this, just uh, look at it for a moment. The, the idea is that this is going to be victorsbakery.com is the main address, and then victorsbakery.com as the site address, which automatically it'll then become wp-admin. But what we're doing is we want to put in something like secret, which will then be victorsbakery.com slash secret, slash wp-admin. Now it's not just changing these two things. Enter the address here if you want your site home page to be different. There's a little link there for the full documentation to be different from your WP installation directory. So I'm going to open that in a new window and take a look at the documentation. We're changing. Um, I might have gotten it backwards, but I'm going to confirm in the documentation right now. But it is changing those. Let me just confirm here in the document. Like the login for the site would be just without the, the secret, and then WordPress would add it to the login screen. Is that Yes, that's what I'm doing. I'm checking. Just hold on. So. The documentation of uh, how to do, do all of this, it is uh, this document right here. It's pretty wordy and pretty techy, but I'm going to focus on the part that you would care about the most. So the whole idea is giving WordPress its own directory. Um, there's a little preamble of what you're going to do here. OK, let me skip that for the moment. Moving a root install to its own directory. Um, method 1 without URL change, method 2 with URL change. Most likely you're going to do method 2. And in general, the idea is right here. So, okay. In the WordPress address URL, set the address. Okay, yes, so I did have it backwards. In the WordPress URL, that's going to be victorsbakery.com slash secret. And in the website address, it's just your plain old victorsbakery.com. So you had it backwards here. It's here. That's why, that's why I double check the documentation too. This is something that gets done early on in the process. Um, It depends on the server, but to be safe, keep it all lowercase. So the, the and then it would just when you go to log in, you would just have that as part of your title. Like right, if I save this now, do I have to re-log in? Don't save it now. I'm not done explaining it because uh, there's even more things we need to do here. But the basic idea is that we are going to change these. Continuing to read the documentation. It says, 
we, we change those two screens there, then um, the login screen and uh, the index the index the home screen and this ht access file need to be copied from the one directory to the other. And then we need to edit a file to also tell WordPress we made a change. So again, don't do this yet, but the idea is that the the site is in a certain folder, usually your root level of your site. Having it in a subfolder then, there's this ht access file and there's index.php file. The documentation is saying I would move those to the other folder, the other address. These are hidden files, right? The ht access is often hidden, yes, but not the index.php. Now it says in the documentation to copy, do not move. Mm -hmm. So you're going to leave a copy where it currently is of both of those files, and also copy them to the new location. So there will be that index file in two folders. And then we need to we would need to then edit this WP um, which file here? Uh, uh, and then in the index.php file, this index.php that um, still lists, you know, the other address. So I would need to change that to the new address. secret slash slash that so this is why I'm saying uh, okay it, it is doable it, it's very technical I'm not having you do it right now because it is very technical um, if you're trying to do it on your own site I wouldn't do it yet still because it is technical but this is to do the extra security that instead of having the default wp-admin on the root level I have it in a subfolder but you see I have to set up the folder I have to change that setting in the dashboard I have to copy these files on the server I then have to edit a screen of code so it's not just like it would be amazing if it was simply changing that screen save we're done no it's a lot of stuff in the back end it's not impossible, but it is technical, so that's why I'm not saying let's do it right now because it's still kind of technical. Yes? I'm saying maybe it's just on my, um, the people I work for their, their front end, but GoDaddy didn't seem to really offer you the ability to go into the folders. Did I just not see that? Or not? When I log into a GoDaddy account, I'll, I'll show you where to see that. Oh, okay. Well, no, but I, I still want to show it because it's part of the lecture that I'm going to get to. Yeah. So does this mean that like, the majority of people who have WordPress accounts, if they don't do this, it's pretty much the, the URL and then WPs? Yeah. Them? Yeah. That's like insane. Yes, but, uh, when we've talked, but when we've talked about, for example, setting up Jetpack, Jetpack has... Uh, a security feature to turn on that will help uh, make the site more secure also because uh, it will also detect well here's someone trying to log in from Canada and the owners have never logged in from Canada so it's gonna block that attempt so in the beginning yes it was like very very insecure very like the addresses they're naked here's my front door come on in if they have the password now you are doing good passwords right you're not doing common words and you're changing your spelling and you're changing them every six months, right? So it's not just about, okay, here's the front door because you know everyone's got a front door in their house, but the way you get in is with the key. So yes, the front door to WordPress is very easy to get to, but to get into, you should have the good password, change it regularly, have only the, the certain people have access to log in, not give the address to everyone. The more security, right, is putting, you know, the, the handprint 
uh, kind of lock on the door or putting bars on the windows, and that's what this is. This is the extra part of it, which is more effort, more hassle, uh, admittedly. But uh, that's kind of the way it is. Yeah. Does that jetpack recognize location or IP address of the computer? Often, um, an IP address is type tied to a location, uh, so the answer is sort of both. Uh, but um, I think technically it is uh, based on IP address. So if I'm on the other side of the country, I'm going to go with an IP address, and then I'm on the other country, same so machine. Uh, in theory, it could happen then that that is the that that does cause a problem, but it also is checking whose email address and such is trying to get into it. The hackers, of course, are going to use the easy admin and password, so obviously it'll block that. But if it, if it sees this is the username and password that usually gets used, but it's in New York, it might not be a problem. But if you're if it's an unknown username at an unknown location, that's when it's much more secure. So let me go back to this. Um, I will write a complicated process of changing a setting in the dashboard plus moving files on the server plus editing code and then it's good to go. That is a step by step document. Yes, uh, and I'm going to put it right there in the notes. It's right there, yeah. Okay, part of this also is um, then adding redirections. Um, using the re redirection plugin, make the make anything but your secret directory send the person back to home okay so what we're saying here is if I do have it set up picturesbakery.com my secret even more secure misspelled uh, wp-admin if that's the official screen to log in anything else then is is wrong and is someone trying to break into your site. So using redirection plugin, we can set here, take them back to the home screen. So under tool, uh, where do they put it? Under set tools, settings, where's redirection? Do we not? Uh, do I not have that? Yeah, I don't have that plugin on this site. Sorry, I was thinking of my other site. Let me just add it here. Remember, I showed this on the example site. Uh, we didn't add it here, I guess, but that's okay. So I'm going to add it just to show you what that looks like. If I have set up that secret location to the login, I have it right here. Source URL. It was previously when someone went to wp-admin, um, that was the old location to log in, which I've moved over to secret. So I would say here, anyone trying to access wp-admin, just send them back to the root. Send them back to the home screen. I believe so. Let me double check that. Yes, John Godley. Yeah. 
So this, this redirection plugin is very useful for a bunch of things. We've seen it before in terms of, well, I changed about us into about. So I want to list here. If anyone still goes to about us, send them over to about. That's how I, I mentioned it before. Anyone trying to go to your website, pictorsbakery.com, uh, about us, now is going to get sent over to pictorsbakery.com slash about. That's how we've used it before. That's how I've mentioned this plugin before. It's also very useful here if you have set up your um, is the first part of this whole talk. This is a way then for the bad guys to get just sent back to your home page. This has been very useful also when you have the this 404s reporting. This is keeping track and it's it's going to show people trying to access some page on your site to look for vulnerabilities on your site. From the list of 404s here, I'd get the button add a new redirection. And then I can redirect people back to the home page. The way I've got it, just for fun, I don't think it's going to do anything, but I thought it was fun. Uh, let's say people were trying to access, sometimes I see this, people are trying to access a broken theme. Uh, themes slash old theme one. Um, and I have them redirected over to uh, warning.html. I created a page that says, warning, if you're on this screen, um, you have been, your data has been recorded, uh, you are going to be reported, and like that, you know, trying to scare the hackers, which I don't think it'll work, but it's just mm -hmm. something that I put in there. So you're going to see that in that 404 screen that people are going to try to access uh, a plugin or a theme that they know is broken, and if it's, you've got it on your site, you're, you're going to be in trouble. But I have here then the link back over to the, the scary warning page. What is this under the 404 thing? Tools? I can't show it in 404s yet because I have no broken links. That's where it would be. It would be right here. I would add, I would have add the redirection. I'm just showing it from this other screen as well, the top level here. You're going to see this. These two things are going to be under 404s once it starts to collect 404s. Okay. So what I would say over here, use redirections. These are only websites that are originally originated in your own site. So if you have a page that you've upgraded, you could just simply redirect it to the website. It might be better to redirect, yes. Because if you already had traffic coming to that other page, you don't want to lose that traffic by deleting it all. So I think redirection is a lot better. Uh, it'll seamlessly move the person from the old screen to the new screen. Okay, so to try to prevent unauthorized access. Yeah. If you've got things like your, like your warning page, no, because they do have a value. Those are often uh, labeled as landing pages. Um, you, you shouldn't get dinged, uh, depending what kind of page it is. You know, if it's like a terms of service, that should be accessible from somewhere in the menu or the footer or somewhere. This warning screen has a purpose that it should, you shouldn't be able to get to it unless you're a bad guy. So that shouldn't have any effect. But uh, let's say I'm doing sale this Saturday. Let's say uh, I put uh, you know ads in the newspaper, in the Union Tribune, that says, visit our address, get a 20% coupon. Well, it's going to be victorsbakery.com slash UT20. There's no way to get to UT20 from the main menu. I don't want anyone to go to it from the main menu. I want them to land on that page, landing page, from reading the newspaper to go to that link. So no, that wouldn't be penalized because that is a valid tactic to have hidden screens. So, sorry if it's a little anticlimactic, but yes, it's a little technical to set up a secret log in to, the, to your WP admin screen and kind of technical to do, but this is as, sort of as much as I can show you at this point. I would also mention do this 
after your WordPress is installed on the server, but before you do much more with it, such as adding products and plugins and new themes and all of that. Uh, try to set this up early on in the process uh, so that it's properly set up from the beginning. Migration is a different issue, and I'll show that when I get to that, because in this case, well, the site's ready. I'm ready to upload it, so it, it's not at the point where I can do it first. But I'll show the variation of it when we, when we get to that part. Okay. Um, that was that security item there. 